Good afternoon. Yesterday when we left, Joseph's brothers were in a pickle because just like Joseph had told in Pharaoh's dream, because God gave me interpretation, Egypt was in a famine and it was bad. It was about all over the place. It reached all the way to Canaan where Joseph's family lived. And therefore his father sent the 10 older brothers to Egypt to buy grain. When they got there, because Joseph was the governor of the land, he was in charge, they had to go to see Joseph to get the food, like I said yesterday. Joseph recognized them, but they didn't recognize him. He was speaking to them through an interpreter, and he was speaking in Egyptian, and he was having an interpreter talk to them. So they had no idea it was Joseph. So Joseph spoke very harshly with them and said, you're spies. He said, no, no, we are honest men. He goes, you are spies. You have come to see how vulnerable Egypt is. You can come back and steal all of our food. And they said, no, no, sir, we promise. We are honest men. We are 10 brothers and we have two younger brothers and one is home with my father and the other brothers no longer with us. And he said, no, you're spies. I know you're spies. The only way for you to, to prove you're not spies is to bring your younger brother to me. And if you don't, then I will know you're spies. And with that, Joseph threw them in prison for three days. Just like that. Now, Joseph wasn't being mean. Joseph was actually testing them. Because when they went to get their grain, <clears throat> Joseph said, now I'm going to give you grain, but you're going to have to leave one of your brothers with me. And again, he was speaking through an interpreter, so they didn't know it was Joseph. So someone else was speaking for him. He was speaking in Egyptian, and someone else was speaking um, Hebrew for them. So they took Simeon and tied him up right in front of, uh, right in front of his brothers and, and carried him off. And then Joseph said, pack up your things, take your food to your starving family, but bring your, if you ever want to see this brother alive, you want, don't want me to come after you, then bring your younger brother back to me to prove that what you say is true. Wow. The boy started talking. What is, what's happening? What is, what, God's judging us. We should never have done that to Joseph. Now God's, God's trying to judge us. They begin to talk about what they had done. I had no idea that Joseph could understand them. So they packed up all their stuff. Joseph gave them the grain. He also gave them supplies for their trip home. And then secretly he told his men to put the money they brought for the grain back in their bags. So that night when they stopped and built camp, one of the brothers found the money in his bag. He's like, oh no, look at this. They're gonna think we're spies. Someone is trick tricking us. Someone is trying to trap us. They put the money back in our bag. What are we gonna tell father? What are we gonna do? Simeon's gonna be killed. Father's going to be upset with us. They went home and they, and they told Jacob everything that happened. They told him about the governor being, being mean to them. And then the money was put back in their bags. And they said, the only way that we can, we can, we can ever get food again is to, is to take Benjamin back to Egypt so we can prove to him that we're honest men. Otherwise, we're done. Jacob said, no, I've already lost Joseph. Simeon's in prison. I may have lost him. I will not send Benjamin with you. I will not do it. You can't do it. Well, they ate all the grain that they had bought and purchased. They were out of food again. They were going to have to go back to Egypt. They were going to have to take Benjamin. But Jacob didn't want to do that. So what's going to happen now? You're going to have to come back tomorrow and find out.